Welcome to the History Lord channel. There we are, that lovely sweeping shot by James. That uh, terrace of houses there, built in around 1702, and they were given to the borough by John Rowan, who was a yeoman of His Majesty's Harriers. Now we're back here in Greenwich for part two of a little wander around this lovely town, and we're starting where we left off in part one, outside the Fan Museum. But today, we're gonna to show you a few other things that are off the beaten track. Let's go and find them. Welcome to London. So we're just walking up Crooms Hill now, junction of Gloucester Circus, and we're here to look at a blue plaque. And this blue plaque is to a chap called Benjamin Waugh, who in 1888 founded the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. In 1889, he campaigned for an act of parliament that meant that any children who were maltreated could be taken into protective custody. He almost single-handedly did that himself. Let's have a move on. We've got uh, Greenwich Park, to the left of us, let's go up and see what else is on Crooms Hill. So here we are at this gazebo. It was built for Sir William Hooker, who in 1666 was a sheriff of the City of London and became Lord Mayor in 1673. The reason he built this, well, there used to be a wall around Greenwich Park and uh, he wanted to see all the pretty flowers and trees inside. So he built his gazebo slightly higher up so he can have a look over the fence. Let's go and have a look at two of the bigger houses that used to be in the park, this way. So I thought I'd come for a little sit down now. It's a bit of a steep hill walking up here. We're outside McCartney House. Now McCartney House was built around 1694 and in around about 1802, some of the interior was redesigned by Sir John Soane. And we did a video all about Sir John Soane's grave in St Pancras Old Churchyard. And uh, James, if you'll be so kind, will put the link just up in the corner there. Now it's most famous resident, was actually General James Wolfe. At the age of 32, in 1759, he led a surprise attack on the French garrison in Quebec. He led his forces up a steep cliff above the St Lawrence River. Sadly, he was killed in the attack, but the Battle of the Plains of Abraham was a victory. And there's a statue of General Wolfe just by the observatory, and we're gonna do a whole video all about the Royal Observatory elsewhere on the channel. But now it's time to go to the Ranger's house. Let's go. So this behind me is the Ranger's House. It now is run by English Heritage and it houses the Werner Collection. Now Sir Julius Werner was an avid collector and he amassed over 700 pieces of art from Renaissance and medieval all the way through to Dutch masters. Now why was it called the Ranger's House? Well that's because the Ranger used to be an honorific title for the person who lived here. The house is in the Palladian style and dates from 1722 to 1723 and it was built for Captain Francis Hosier, later became a Vice Admiral. Between 1806 and 1813 it was actually Brunswick House, renamed after the Duchess of Brunswick, sister to King George III. In 1816 it became the Ranger's House. The Ranger was an honorary position and it's been held by a number of notables over the years including Caroline of Brunswick, the estranged wife of George IV. She was ranger from 1805 to 1813, but she lived in a neighbouring Montague house, which was demolished in 1815. In 1897, the house was purchased by the London County Council and used as a sports and social club, and then to house a collection of musical instruments. The ranger's house was taken over by English Heritage, and as I mentioned earlier, it now houses the Werner Collection. Thank you very much for watching today. We do hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to know what we do outside of these videos, then have a look in the description below. It tells you all about Last Line Films, which is James's YouTube channel. And if you go to historylord.co.uk, you can see about a walking tour of London. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Take care.